Red Ark here, and I am with Dana and Joe of Mule Expedition Outfitters. And that wasn't always your name. You started off with something different. It That's correct. It yeah. was Das Mule. We started off in the Vanagon world, building rock sliders for Vanagons that Joe designed and we manufactured ourselves. That's awesome. Uh, and the name of the van was Das Mule, yep. German yes. word for the multi. Oh, uh, the, the mule is actually an acronym. It's a, it's an army acronym. A little truck they built back in the, oh, gosh, nice. like around the 40s, Vietnam era 50s, or something like that yeah. or whatever it was. But it's a, a multi-purpose utility logistics equipment. So from there, you went into a retail space where you were selling equipment for just recovery gear and whatnot? Recovery gear, suspension. We started off in a little thousand square foot office space behind a burger joint in, in Washington, in Issaquah, Washington. And, and it was basically Dana and our pup. And then, yeah, that was kind of back in 2014, I guess. And uh, and then from there, it just kind of slowly tri grew up, and we got an install shop, and I quit my job and started full-time after about a year later. I was going to say, how, how long was the evolution from just selling them to actually going into installing? Yeah, so, well, 2011, <clears throat> we started Das Mule, mm -hmm. and uh, we were just doing the you know the Vanagon rock sliders and stuff kind of on the side. I was still doing my engineering job, and she was still doing her normal day job. And then... Uh, we did a trip down to Baja in 2011 or 2012. Mm -hmm. We're down there for about nine weeks driving around in our Vanagon Synchro. And on the way back, we're just like, man, there's no shops that sell this stuff. And people need to touch it and feel it and, yeah. and you know, hold it in their hands. And we're that old. There were no shops. There were no <laughs> shops. And uh, so we're like, yeah, let's, let's try this. Let's do a shop. So um, so that's how. The... And it was really a quick turnaround from retail. We had customers coming in wanting bumpers and suspension, but they were the kind of people that made the money to be able to pay somebody else to do that. And it wasn't their area of expertise. So it was really about six or eight months and we were already looking for install capabilities at that point. Well, there's a fine line between built and bought. I think that a lot of the professional things should be professionally installed. Correct. Um, yeah. You can do a lot of your own, and it's good to know these things, but having professionals that know what they're doing makes things last a lot longer. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and speaking of that, in the install world, you just did the first Tacoma for Red Arc. That's correct. Walk us through it. Oh, walk us through it. Yeah, so uh, so we're the we're the MITS Alloy U.S. distributor for, for that product line, and MITS and Red Arc worked together in Australia to mm -hmm. come up with the canopy design and layout and ultimately the... The, the electronics package layout for their trucks or for their canopies rather and and they were designed more around a marketing perspective versus a you know something you do for a, a, a daily overlanding truck yeah but um we had those canopies shipped to our shop uh the trucks were delivered sometime back in june i guess everything obviously slid because of the shipping stuff going on these days but mm -hmm. um we got the trucks um basically got the trays on and and ran all the power wiring the, the trucks did come fully outfitted uh, from Australia, so all of the kit was in there. We basically just had to do the finishing touches on the electronics, you know, get everything wired in and hooked up, and then, um, of course, get the tray and canopy they mounted. They turned out great. They look sharp. It's but clean. It's, it's really clean. Yeah. Super nice, yeah. And it was a really good marriage between uh, MITS being an Australian company and, and Red Arc and the fact that they could, uh, you know, and you can see, you can tell when you look at the truck and look at the canopy, especially from the inside, you can see that that there was a lot of good communication between the two companies to get that stuff all all working together. But we carry Red Arc and have done so for. Gosh, you were a some of the early, you were the earliest, some yeah, of the earliest, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we were benef and and Red Arc's been a great partner to work with. Um, you know, we got to install the first Red Vision system in the U.S., which was great in our our Baja Runner uh, four wheel camper truck back. A couple of years ago and then and now four wheel offers that as a package yeah so kind of prototype that whole so that was really cool and um you keep mentioning mitts you yeah. are you're a dealer for mitts we are the distributor are the you are the you are okay you so, are yeah. yeah so we were very excited that red arc was building their trucks based on a mitts alloy platform so fantastic for us as we're introducing that the new product into the u.s market um, you couldn't have a better partner than MITS and, and Red Arc. I mean, they're two outstanding product lines. That uh, What well, helps they come from the same beat the crap out of it background? Oh, yeah. I mean, the stuff is, it's uh, it's not like you're taking something from a, from a different industry and time trying to make it yeah. work for RV overlanding. industry you know? in particular. Correct. Yeah. I mean, this stuff is, uh, anybody who owns a Red Arc product will testify that the stuff is bulletproof, you know, in terms of its ability mm -hmm. to withstand all the elements and things you can throw at it and perform and do things that 
I don't think there's a product in the market right now that's like uh, Red Vision. No. Yeah. So how do they find you guys? Gosh, I, I, how I, do people find us, or how, how did Red Arc find how us? Do people, how do people oh, how find do people you guys? Find us? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, how can we they are, get a hold of you? Where are you are, located? We, are, uh, we have two retail stores, one near Seattle, Washington, and Issaquah, the other in Tualatin, which is just south of Portland and Oregon, and at www.dasmule.com. Keeping the original name, I love it. We yep. did. Awesome. Well, I appreciate started. you guys. Yeah. Thank thanks, you very much. Jeremy, yeah, appreciate thanks, it. Jeremy. Thanks. Cool.